What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, aka Allfires. Wolverine entering the MCU in the headlines twice in one week, starting with the writers over on Deadpool, acknowledging they have no insider information, no direct track or plans to write him into the film, but did discuss candidly what they thought the new actor needed to carry into that role. We then had none other than Taron Egerton, an actor that's been tied directly to rumors of that role, Wolverine in the MCU, talking candidly about his meeting with Marvel and Kevin Feige, and that role in specific. We're going to break down exactly what he said to the New York Times, try to contextualize it a little bit with reports from late last year about a solo Wolverine film in the MCU, its timing for release, and of course look back on some of the other scoops that came Prior to this confirmation from Taryn Egerton, in fact, one industry insider editorial had this pegged all the way back in April. We're discussing everything Taryn Egerton, Wolverine in the MCU, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button. We do daily Marvel content at the channel, that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews, to the occasional industry insider scoop or interview like today, and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the sub button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway if you want, stick around at the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so while you're probably going to see this headline in a million places over the weekend, the original information about Taron Egerton speaking candidly about his meeting with the MCU comes from an article in the New York Times just a day ago. Now, this article is actually eight pages long, and this stuff about the MCU doesn't come up until the eighth page, literally the last three paragraphs. But this is what it says exactly. Quote, he also hopes to succeed Jackman as the next Wolverine and has met with Marvel Studios executives, including the company's president, Kevin Feige. Quote, I don't think it would be wrong to say that, he said laughing. I'd be excited, but I'd be apprehensive as well because Hugh is so associated with that role that I'd wonder if it'd be very difficult for someone else to do it. He paused again, then flashed a grin, but hopefully if it does come around, they'll give me a shot. Okay, so this is him admitting that he wants to play Wolverine in the MCU, so you have to imagine during this meeting with Marvel Studios and its president, the man himself, Kevin Feige, he would have discussed that. In the past, we've heard from Kevin Feige and, say, an actor like Keanu Reeves, who have both admitted the reason Keanu isn't already in the MCU is they just haven't found the right role. That means whatever Marvel Studios had for Keanu, he wasn't interested in just yet. But this is different. This is an actor showing interest in one specific role, much in the way Mahershala Ali did with Blade. And you have to think, well, Wolverine will be one of the most coveted roles in the upcoming MCU future phases five and six. But if you're sort of wondering why there's all this buzz and all of a sudden about this character, it is not a coincidence. And this is where this report gets super exciting, tied to three separate industry insiders over the last year, starting with Mikey Sutton over at Geekosity, who in September of 2021 indicated that Marvel Studios may look to release a solo Wolverine film in 2024, as it would be the 50th anniversary of the character. And what's more, we could actually hear about this solo Wolverine film with the next round of Marvel Studios cinematic slate reveals. Well, as luck would have it, we haven't had one of those yet. And ironically, one's right around the corner in San Diego Comic-Con 2022 this month, followed by D23 in just a couple of months. So fingers crossed that Mikey Sutton got this one right and that Marvel Studios plans on pushing out a Wolverine solo film and they plan announcing it soon. That would lead to the casting of the character who, in April, was already reported by Giant Freaking Robot, a more new industry insider editorial, one we cover here at the channel, who's had a ton of casting reports in the last couple of months, really new to the scene in the last year. They reported on Terry Egerton meeting with Marvel Studios back in April of this year. That's months ago, way before this reveal and candidly with the New York Times. So credit where credit's due. When you get one right, you get one right. And Giant Freaking Robot got this one right. I want you guys to remember sometimes when I'm doing the reporting here at the channel, I am a fan just like you. And I really, really want Marvel Studios to introduce mutants just as badly as you guys do. And I really want them to get it right. There was an original report or two indicating that Wolverine might end up as a show on Disney+. Plus. 
The recent stuff though, indicates it's going straight to silver screen. And as a fan, that's what I want to see. I think that's a better place for him. And speaking of a better place for him, a rated R label I think better suits his character. Now look, right now Marvel Studios, it is no joke, is actively trying to get a younger audience. Most of the people who watch the MCU have been watching it for the last 10 years. A lot of us are in our mid-20s, mid-30s, or older. They're trying to introduce shows like Miss Marvel, teams like the Young Avengers, get the younger age group in because they know that they've already got us. But for a character like Wolverine, who I want to see ultra-violent and true to the character, I hope that they go ahead and give it a rated R label. And we've heard that. That's been some of the reports that I was indicating when I said three separate reports over the last year. It's going to work with Deadpool, which will be Marvel Studios' very first rated R movie. Hopefully, they'll continue that trend. The other rumor out there, and this is strictly strictly in the most grain of salt speculative territory to something we hadn't had a chance to cover here at the channel but works perfectly for the story some people are saying that the x-men 97 tv show the animated series we expect to hit disney plus next year or the year following may actually be the lead-in and explainer for how we eventually get mutants in the live action 616 mcu and while man i don't know how in the world they would plan on explaining any of that Let's be real, Doctor Strange set up the fact that those animated universes are just as adjacent as the other cinematic universes, so the door, pun totally intended, question mark, is still left wide open for something like this to happen. Again, hopefully where all this smoke is, there's actual fire, and we can stop finally asking the question, when are they going to introduce mutants? Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. If Egerton is truly going to be Wolverine, do you think Marvel Studios got it right with this actor? Or if not, who's your pick for that? Of course, would you like to see it rated R like me? And how do you think Marvel's going to introduce mutants? I'm all ears. Let me know in the comments quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s all the way up to a million subscribers. All the way up to a million subscribers, the next milestone is 980, which we should hit easily by month's end or next. So if you wanna be entered to win or for any of the future giveaways, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below. Because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos, the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at IamFires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. And while I sincerely, sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. It means the world to me. For those of you who have been supporting me from the beginning, I cannot believe we are this close to a million subscribers. I look forward to sharing the rest of the Marvel Cinematic Universe experience with you guys for the next decade and plus to come. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.